a guy who always appreciates greatness and history of the NBA is our next guest, R120 Sports NBA analyst Stephen Jackson back here on the show with us. What's up, Stephen? How are you today? Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Yeah, morning. doing great, doing great. Um, we saw Russell Westbrook, 31st triple-double of the season, 23-13-13 and 13 last night to lead the Thunder over the Spurs. What's your reaction when you hear that Russell Westbrook has matched what Wilt Chamberlain did and is now uh, within reach of the great Oscar Robertson? Well, that just goes to solidify that even if that he don't, um, even if their team does don't make the playoffs, he's still MVP. I mean, look how long it's been since someone averages a triple double. I think he's definitely on the verge of, of finishing his season off with a triple double. Obviously, if he doesn't. Then you know I kind of I kind of would lean towards uh, LeBron and Kawhi, but the season he's having right now is special. He's doing something that hasn't been done in a long time, and uh, you know he, he's, he's just a special guy, man. And the fact that he knows his history, he knows the guys that that laid, that paved the way for him. He knows the guys that were dominant and all over the court like he was when when he was a kid or wasn't even born actually. But um, to, to, to know his history and to be able to come out and play like he's been playing is special. We, we, we definitely seeing greatness, and I'm glad I'm able to witness it. No question what he's doing is phenomenal right now, especially in this era of basketball. But just if he gets the triple-double average, he's going to be the MVP because if you look at some of the other numbers, LeBron blows everybody away, and then James Harden, you can make the argument, is even having better numbers than what Russell Westbrook, even though he's not getting the triple-doubles. Well... I don't think these guys are averaging a triple double. Russ is actually averaging a triple right, double. Right, but that by that by by itself, does that necessarily mean that he's the most valuable, especially if he can't get his team to the playoffs or doesn't even get them high up in the standings? Well, and and, and that's something that's that's a sensitive subject. We talk about it on my ESPN show all the time. They need to separate the awards. The best right. having the best season and the most valuable player. The most I agree valuable with that. player of the NBA will always be LeBron James in my mind. He, he, he's going to be the best player as long as he's in the NBA. But the person who's having the best season this year is definitely Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, my mug only has the name of my show on it. He's got his uh, initial on his mug. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I got to be on your level in order to get that that worked out. Uh, maybe one day. I got something to aspire to.